Good morning, folks. We are three days into the great April 2016 test of the Earth-facing solar quiet effect, and thus far, Earth is dominating. So what if 98% of the CMEs released this year miss the Earth's part of the heliosphere? This big guy has the size, position, and some complementary magnetism. Thus far, however, calm. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we see surging and jostling, but no eruptions facing Earth despite the corona rippling around the sides, indicative of further limb and far side eruptions. Closest thing to a geoeffective flashing came right through the center a tiny C class flare surging along the filaments and sunspot. No ejecta visible. And that's because the flare just wasn't strong enough. Little C class flares unable to get it going, and this big sunspot group has wasted about half his chance now. Magnetism needs to come together for flares. This is split with distance between. Positive and negative with much further between them when it comes to the coronal holes. Southern negative stream will strike Earth this week, but it itself is exiting the Earth-facing disk. But top left, we see the next one coming in. That's a green positive for northern coronal hole system, also seen here in 211 angstrom, swinging over that top left side. The solar wind has not really been presenting like coronal hole streams we're used to seeing. Sustained speed after the density shock waves has instead favored more density shocks, so we'll see if these can build in strength today. Thus far, they're just toying around in moderate range, and Earth systems are just fine. All the far side eruptions and the shock waves we are taking have energy on the rise here, and a new cyclone is spinning in the Indian Ocean, heading due west. Madagascar and surrounding regions on alert. Other interesting weather story is an amazing temperature gradient driven by the pressure cells. Heat racing up the thin eastern convergence to the west side of Greenland while cold air funnels in behind it on the western side of the low. Top stories today are for new Electric Universe proponents. First we have what the mainstream describes as black holes. Massive ones, far far away and they're all spinning and producing jets in the exact same direction. The scientists here prefer a random gravitational anomaly of the primordial nature rather than a persisting waveguide frequency or energetic flow playing a deterministic role in their position. Perhaps just as baffling is this, and these scientists actually recognize that the mainstream paradigm isn't going to work to explain it. Turns out that my favorite candidate for proof of the electric universe theories, vacuum energy, has a nice red flag closing the gap and revealing the need for major change from the other side of the story. Most interesting earthquake of the last day was not the largest, but it did hit the south magnetic pole south of Australia. Remember, it has already left Antarctica en route to its Indonesian meeting zone. If you went to magneticreversal.org yesterday, you already saw that and know many of the facts about Earth's magnetic reversal. If you want to go next level and haven't yet, click premium over at suspiciousobservers.org and then observing the frontier. The status of our shield, our planet, is not so good, but at least it's easy enough for a young student to understand. Therefore, I like your chances. We've got some pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the desert. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.